We earlier saw the story of, a, uh, of the demolition of a Korean floating restaurant on Ta'al Lake. What more can be done to preserve our national parks? We now have on the phone Laguna 1st District Representative Dan Fernandez. Congressman Fernandez chairs the House Committee on Ecology. Good evening, Congressman Fernandez. Uh, good evening, Pia, and to all the listeners. Uh, good evening to you. We understand, Congressman, that uh, you've said that the demolition of the restaurant should serve as an example for other establishments. Yes. Are we saying that uh, we can look forward to... Uh, the government uh, uh, pushing for this and making sure that there are no similar incidents, no similar uh, situations? Yeah, actually, uh, this might uh, serve as a warning to all those uh, violators uh, who, who wanted to invest in, uh, in our country, that, that they have to protect also our environment. Considering the, um, the um, adverse effect of the uh, climate change, we have to uh, consider to follow all the uh, existing guidelines and policy of, uh, of our national government. Unfortunately, this uh, Korean restaurant, which have been uh, in uh, in uh, Taal Lake for so many years, have been uh, violating all the uh, basic uh, guidelines that the LDU have uh, uh, that the uh, that this investor have to follow. So um, uh, I think uh, this demolition that have been uh, that happened uh, this morning uh, will uh, somehow. Uh, make an uh, exclamation point to all those violators. As a matter of fact, uh, Pia, um, uh, we still have like uh, 19 uh, establishments which have uh, been uh, served notice of violation in the Taal Lake. And uh, I, I believe that um, uh, they have to comply with all the necessary requirements, otherwise they will be demolished also. Congressman Fernandez, if the owners of this uh, restaurant are going to be held liable, shouldn't we also hold the uh, the LGU authorities liable. Then if you look uh, at the video, if you look at the video I and you look at the restaurant, uh, matagal na pala siya. It's, uh, yes. it's even well constructed. Uh, I mean, the, don't tell me uh, nangyari uh, yan. Yes, ahead, this, uh, this uh, business permit that allegedly had not been complied with by the, uh, by the uh, uh, restaurant owner, um, the, uh, uh, the uh, mayor right now uh, it so happened that um, she just assumed uh, her office during last election. Mm -hmm. So, uh, at year 2008, uh, it was alleged by the, uh, by the uh, Korean uh, owner that they had secured a business permit of the former mayor. But unfortunately, wala silang mapakitang uh, business permit. And um, incidentally, the, uh, the uh, mayor, uh, during that time, uh, is already dead. So, wala talagang business permit na na-issue yung former mayor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so granted na ganun na nga ang story, na wala palang business permit, and uh, mm. kumbaga gumagawa na lang kwento itong uh, may-ari ng, ng restaurant, then yes. why didn't the, um, the uh, LGU, the, 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 the mayor after this, after the, the, nung, nung pumasok nung 2010, but hindi sila pumasok sa eksena at nag-investiga talaga, no? If you're saying na 2000 nga, 2010 mm -hmm. na elect, 2012 na po ngayon eh. Hindi yeah, ba, that, well, actually, taon ganun na. yung uh, uh, istorya, no? Parang uh, uh, the uh, LGO is also claiming that uh, these, uh, these uh, people are, are, are powerful, that they have connection in the uh, national government. Uh, at sino daw so, ang connect uh, nila? What, what the, the LGO, LGO have done is to try to communicate with the national government and uh, including the... Uh, uh, Congressman Angelo Palmones and the uh, Committee on Ecology. And that's the time that uh, we entered the picture. And uh, since now, um, these um, uh, Korean, uh, they were bragging that they have connection. Mm -hmm. So what we did through Angelo Palmole, Palmones, he filed a writ of kalikasan to the mm -hmm. Supreme Court. And when mm -hmm. these, uh, these uh, writ of kalikasan have been uh, uh, released by the Supreme Court, uh, we tried the DNR to implement this. And uh, nung mag-issue ng CDO, ng uh, Citizen Disease Order, ang uh, DNR, so we tried to get the uh, help of the LGU uh, sa local and also through the office of the uh, Governor Bilma Santos. So we were able to uh, get the help to uh, start the demolition this morning. Well, it's interesting what you said, Congressman Fernandez, na itong LGUs, uh, LGU officials had tried to contact the uh, national uh, government dahil nga nabalitaan nila na uh, mm -hmm. may connect, no? may connection. Uh, yeah. 
for what purpose? Na, let's say, sinabi ng kung sino man yung kino, kinokontakt nila sa national government. Oo nga, tao kaya, or whatever, no? Uh, anong gagawin ng LGU hindi nila itutuloy? Or what? No, no, no. What, what, uh, ano yung plano uh, nila? The, uh, we have to understand also the, uh, the uh, situation of the uh, LGUs. Uh, especially, uh, there are a lot of people who are working in the restaurants who are also uh, their constituents. And uh, ah, at the same so time, um, uh, the, 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 uh, the restaurant is already uh, in place. Kumbaga, mm. uh, nandun na yun, uh, kumbaga, uh, malaking structure na, and um, having it uh, demolished will uh, have a hard time for the, uh, the LGU. And um, we, we tried to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to um, uh, uh, appease uh, the, uh, the, uh, that, that, that them to, to get help from us. So uh, we acceded by, uh, by uh, trying to, to, to help them. Why did, they, why did the LGU officials have to... Uh, ask muna, no? Ano yun? Ano, 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 Bakit kailangan nila mag-contact sa national government bago sila gumalaw? Uh, well, actually, hindi ang LGU ang uh, humanap ng uh, tulong sa national government. Uh, Sambat from the uh, NGO who uh, filed the uh, resolution sa Congress and try to uh, get the help from uh, from Congressman Angelo Palmones. And that, doon kami nag-start na to have the uh, investigation. Oh, no, what I meant, what I meant, Congressman Fernandez, sabi nyo, yung LGU, nagko-contact muna sa national government kasi chine-check nila kung, kung totoo nga yung story na may, na may connection, di ba? Yeah, as a national government. Yes, Oo. yes, yes. Oo. Oo. So, ba bakit, uh, ba bakit kailangan pa yon I mean, in other words, uh, oh, yeah, hindi, yeah. in other words, because Congressman Fernandez, what we're talking about mm -hmm. is uh, local government officials who should be uh, enforcing the law, hindi po ba? Implementing yeah, exactly, the law. Exactly. Do you need to but, be told um, by the national uh, government, you must instant, implement the law, hindi ba? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, Minsan kasi, uh, siguro, eh, well, I really don't know the, the, the story behind, but uh, oh, siguro nah, nahihirapan sila dahil uh, yung, uh, yung Korean, Koreano is uh, been there for so many years. And uh, at the same time, siguro, uh, I heard that the... Uh, the uh, mayor ay uh, naging kita uh, na rin doon sa lugar. So, you know, the, 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 uh, they have been a, 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 a feeling of siguro parang uh, uh, magkakilala na. So, I really don't know the, the, the exact story. But uh, since they uh, had to uh, get help from the uh, national government and from us also, so doon kami pumasok sa XNR. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us uh, tonight. Congressman Dan Fernandez, thank you. Yeah, sir. Right. Thank you, thank you.